Hi everybody. Sorry it's been a long time since I've been able to do a video, but like I said, I'm on disability. I don't get to move around that much. But the one thing that I learned <laughs> gets on my nerves is that tarps do not hold back the water when it rains from going in your boat. So, that was my son blocking the entire view of the camera. We had bought this plastic to go over the boat and then we'll put the tarp over it. And that'll keep the sun from blistering the seats. And that will keep the rain out of the doggone uh, boat. So that's what we got for that. Move this over. Good. What we had talked about last time, or what I was talking about, was that this back piece, this back piece on here, when you put it in the water, is something that I had forgot to do. And there is a hole right here, which is a circle. It lets the water flow in through there because this wants to sink, this wants to sink down since it used to be a jet ski. And the other thing that I forgot to do last time I put it in the water was to secure my pontoons to the side. So when I had the motor on here and the battery, it weighed that back down where the water was able to come through this hole and just flow on through. So I'm gonna fix that by caulking off this more up here. I'm gonna seal that hole with some fiberglass and maybe a little bit of wood. But the other thing that I wanted to do was to drop my seats down. Because when you go to get in it, the boat sits so low and the seats are so high. With the pontoons on it, it keeps it from tipping over. But you sit up so high and it just, sometimes it just doesn't feel right on there. And I'm gonna repaint it to get all the black out of the inside so I'll be able to see it better inside. I'm gonna also coat it with some kind of white paint that has texture. But what I was going to do is cut this whole edge out here on both sides so I can drop the seats back down. They'll still be up high for where they are, but I'm going to remove the drawers. I'm going to remove the drawers that I put in there and relieve some more weight off of it. And then I'm going to drop the seats down so the seats are sitting lower and you sit more comfortable in the boat when you're in it. I'm going to also put railings on the side so that when you go to get in, you can balance yourself a little better while you're stepping in. Because holding on to the seat while you're trying to go in, the seats swivel. That's not what you want to do when you're trying to go in there. So that's going to be the next trip because that is what I had forgot to do last time. And that hole. It's right there in that spot. It's getting on my nerves. So I'm going to make sure I get rid of that sucker today. I might not get to show it because of all the little work that it has to be done. But those were the things that I had forgot to mention. I also realized that I'm going to put the battery into the front of the boat. And I'm going to run that line all the way across so that when the... Uh, trawler motor that's at the back will not be so heavy with the battery at the back as well. So I have the battery in the front and I have the trawler motor back here in the back and that will secure more space. I've had it in the water like that before but when it, that hole started all the leaking to come in that frustrated the whole trip so I had to take it back out of the water and because my foolish self I forgot to bring my pontoons to keep the bottom from dropping down because as a jet ski bottom as a jet ski bottom that sucker wants to drop down 
And the only way to keep it from doing that is by having the pontoons strapped to the side, which I made. My son's gonna dig out one of the pontoons, which is over there in that corner. See me? Yeah, go all the way around that side, you should see it. You should see it over there. Trying to get around the bicycles and the tomato plants, which we gotta take out. And once again, these are the pontoons that I made. Now, the way I made those pontoons, as I told you before, I got those slim floaty things from Walmart that cost you a couple of dollars. I had got uh, four of those, which were really long. They, those things were like six to eight feet long. I cut them in half. I put four, I tied four of them together. I wrapped them in a uh, cardboard. I covered the cardboard in plastic, and then I sealed it all up with the fiberglass. That of course sealed the air inside, which traps the air and makes the pontoons float. You can't really push those things down for nothing. You can't really push them down for anything. And the reason why they're shaped the way they're shaped, the little cone at the end that you can see right there, is because of the way the boat I got is designed as a trawler, as a jet ski, it has to fit it has to fit in that space right there next to that fin and to the uh, frame and that's what the uh, the rubber tubes do they hold them in place but I'm gonna also put some uh, wire really thick wire once I put on the pontoons to lock them in even better just in case one of the rubber uh, tubes break it still won't slip out and go anywhere because it will be in a wire cage itself. And that's what I'm also going to do to help hold it down nice and tight. And like I told the people for uh, Fish and Wildlife, yes, it floats very well without the pontoons. But I like the pontoons on there because they keep the back up a little more. And I don't have to be concerned about that. Thank you, YouTube, for following me and uh, watching me. Thank you for my subscribers. Don't forget to hit the like button. And when I'm done with that stuff, I'm going to put it back on with you. And I'm going to show you how it is I got it done. And I'm going to use my handy tool, which I hadn't had before. But I'm having so much fun working with it. Talk to you later.